Hey guys, Tibble here. Today we got a game in the Konigsberg and Luchens level 7. What the heck? Dimitri Dewey is the only inspiration. He's level 6. This is my free to play account. You can see we got a low level Konigsberg with a rust bucket. Come on, chat. Chat voted to put the rust bucket camo on the poor Konigsberg. Ah, but here we got a game straight capture the base mode. No caps to be worrying about here. So we got the mid spawn. And we'll be covering that uh, part of the map here. We're going to be doing a lot of the legwork this game. We'll just put it that way. I want to briefly touch upon, uh, you know, how can we play this game as a free-to-play player? That's kind of the endeavor we're doing with this account. You know, if you follow me on this channel, if you're subscribed, you see the streams. About half the streams I've been doing the last two weeks or so have been on this free-to-play account. We're just kind of going into in-depth leveling strategies, which are applicable for all levels of players, yes, but they're very helpful for new players, if you can avoid the pitfalls and have kind of, you know, some of the common, easy to make mistakes. Uh, but then we always get into the question, well, so how, how effective can we really be with these these accounts? Now, I got Luchens on here. My first go around, I had uh, Von Mueller on the uh, German cruisers. Now I got a guy named Riegerwald who's, he boosts the AP performance quite a bit. Uh, there's some drawbacks, yes, but... He's a free-to-play uh, war hammer, I believe, or something goofy. Who knows what it was. Uh, so, you know, I, in a lot of cases, I do prefer event commanders. I don't know. There's a good chunk of my ships, though, that I have the uh, in-game commanders for, certainly. And in terms of inspirations, uh, take the destroyers, for instance. My preferred build for destroyers across the board, uh, Bay Sims, for inspiration. Sims, extremely powerful in destroyers. Uh, sometimes boosting the health by 10%. Uh, and si uh, Bay, of course, the strongest concealment. And on this free-to-play account, I might even experiment with going away from Bay completely. I'm going to be leaning into the AA builds on this account, so we're going to be testing those out. And, of course, we'll have more coverage uh, on that topic as I get a little bit further up the, the ship tiers, and we can actually test some of the stuff out and get some of the commanders. Uh, but that is one of the main endeavors we're pursuing. All right, so... As we're going to see in this game here, we're going to be perfectly capable of doing, uh, performing perfectly, you know, at a high level with the free-to-play commander, I guess is the moral of the story. World of Warships, if you get shot in the side, doesn't matter how much you've spent on your commanders, you're still going to die, right? If you're shooting the wrong shell at something that's angled, uh, well, you're not going to do any damage. If you're shooting HE at stuff that you could be wrecking with AP, well, you're going to be doing less than optimal damage, all right? So learning the game understanding what you're doing uh that's going to help you do better anyways two three four five percent boost uh to a given stat yes that's nice but you can come up with good builds uh perfectly free to play so i've already been begun kind of mapping out what i'm going to be doing for my commander builds and we'll be kind of producing a lot of coverage uh when it comes to that stuff so stay tuned for that if you guys are still newer players and you're trying to grind through uh we'll be Covering that, but jumping into this game here, a little bit strange on the deployment. A lot of grouping up. You can see there's going to be several ships on each team that don't really leave the circle, which is a very strange play. My advice to you, watch your positioning on the map over the course of a play session. Let's say you play five games in a night, ten games, whatever it is. See what you're just doing in terms of your deployment. And if you figure out you're in the cap circle the majority of the game... Uh, on capture the base mode at least you're probably in the wrong position would be my advice okay there, so because we're very centrally located you can see on the map we're not quite exactly in the middle but we're pretty dang close and we're i would argue as centrally located as we could be uh safely you know we're going to have a much more greater ability to influence various ships in various positions you can see the firing rings on the map there and here we're getting uh <laughs> Snuck up, snuck up on by the Ishizuki, who's sailing through the unattended western flank. Uh, but, you know, you can see our max firing range once we switch to the main guns. That's our coverage, right? So if we're in the middle, we can shoot more of the ships on red, which is good, because we want to be able to affect everything on the enemy team, ideally. Um, the further back we are, the less ships are going to be in our max firing range, and the less effective the shots are going to be anyway. So generally, we want to be moving forward, but we'll see the effect. Uh, that they have. So we abandoned the west. They kind of abandoned the east. Ishizuki, he gone. Uh, luckily, he's a newer player. 
low tiers, you can always gamble. You know, when I'm aiming torpedoes at something with the intent of hitting a specific ship, very, you know, sometimes I'll use the indicator as one of the salvos. Depends on the situation always. But on lower tier games, you know, if you want to fire both your salvos or how many torps you got at the ship right on the indicator. If you say to yourself, I don't think that guy looks like he's going to change his course. I don't think he's going to change his speed over the next 30 seconds or whatever the time to target is. Well, if he can get away with it, right? And in that case, he didn't. He Lesson needs to be learned. Uh, the more he gets torped, the uh, especially at longer ranges, uh, the better. You need to be figuring out, okay, how do I dodge the torps as a newer battleship player? Uh, sailing in a straight line, going the same speed for intervals of 30 seconds, uh, you're going to die. All right, that's just how the game's designed to work. Uh, destroyers that are going to rush you point blank range. You need to learn how to kill them. You should be able to stop that attack. So uh, battleships, if you're changing what you're doing and you're fighting off the destroyers, you're shooting at the destroyers when you have shots at them, you should be able to survive uh, from destroyers for the most part. Yeah, you're going to get zapped once in a while. Happens to the best of us. Here's another ship. Oh my god, the Omaha coming around here. Now, I'm trying to pull back into torpedo range and I'm watching him shoot uh, to the right of the screen. So I'm being a little, I don't know if we want to call it disrespectful or uh, careless with the angling here. Right now I'm broadside, uh, trying to close in on him, trying to get our own AP loaded and get the guns, but he fires his own AP salvo here, I believe, maybe it was HE. But if he hits us with AP there in the broadside, uh, we could very easily be one shot. So recognizing the danger now we turn away we angle the ship at 45 degrees much safer and we'll see if we can blast him uh, we get a decent shot there and he's mostly broadside you can see in the map he's got a little bit of an angle to him but uh, we can certainly access uh, these citadels especially with Dimitri Dewey now he's a low level level six Dimitri Dewey but that's the idea there and we're trying to convert more angles uh, to have the ability to be citadel, right? As you angle away or towards a target, uh, the odds go down that you'll withstand a citadel. And, oh my god, there's a five citadel shot there. That's going to leave a mark. You know, eventually, assuming the armor values, and we're not going to get too deep into armor angling right now, but eventually the chance should drop to zero if they're hitting uh, relatively well armored surfaces, okay? So Dimitri Dewey, uh, what's his name, Von Essen, the German generic commander, he actually increases the amount of angles that uh, you can access the Citadel, basically, making it harder to angle. So that's why I like him. He's the only Dimitri, or he's the only Dewey commander that I'm planning on leveling up uh, with this free-to-play build because we've got to be very judicious with our uses of our commander upgrade resources. You only get so much every week. And we don't want to be spending them on George Dewey, uh, Duke of Dewey, Jellico, uh, Dewey Son, whatever that guy's name is, Togo. My God, we can't be spending promotion orders on these guys. Dimitri Dewey, though, Von Essen, yes. You can put him on, theoretically, anything that shoots AP. You can put it on every battleship. You can put it on a good chunk of the cruisers. You can even throw him on a couple destroyer builds. What the hell? And he could have a lot of success. So he's a great inspiration, and we were, were using him early. All right, jumping back into the game here. Well, we got two ships left. We got four kills on the board here. Now I was thinking, okay, how do we get this Kraken? So we want to get as many Krakens as possible. Uh, are these ships going to be going to the west, trying to run? Well, we got a guy on the map, or on their base, rather. Uh, so it looks like those ships are actually going back to their base. So we call off the attempted, uh, you know, we're going to cut them off if they're going to run. Uh, since they're going back to defend, we want to cut them off doing that. We've been in our spawn uh, you know, kiting away from those cruisers. Now we got to get back into relevant shooting positions. All right, so Konigsberg, uh, AP against broadside cruisers, yes, automatically. Broadside battleships worth testing uh, when they become angled, you know, 45 degrees or more pointing away from us. Uh, at that point, we're going to be relying on HE. So the gameplay here, and I'm also looking at their health pool, by the way. There's a, multiple considerations. Yes, we want the Kraken. Uh, we do want to win the game. These are two dangerous ships. Uh, they're parked right by each other. Are they invincible? Do they have will to rebuild? Probably. All right. So we got to keep that in mind. Um, but then there's also a potential for the double strike. 
as well. So there's a lot of thoughts going through our mind here. Can we whittle these guys down simultaneously and somehow kill them both within uh, 10 seconds or so of each other and get that coveted double strike? Well, that'd be a hell of a way to get a crack in, in my mind. So that's kind of what we're doing here. But we also want to be, okay, well, they're sinking some ships. Yes, we don't want to be getting blasted by the Shasari point-blank range. He can one-shot us, no doubt about it. Eh, but we're hoping, okay, look at the guys in the back. They are not moving forward. They're having a lot of fun watching us. Hopefully you're having fun watching this game. If you are, go ahead and hit the like. And if you're new, subscribe. But the guys in the back, they're hopefully having a lot of fun watching us as well because they're not doing anything back there. We know that. Uh, so we're thinking, okay, even if we die, even if one or two of us die over here, ain't no thing. Those guys can't get sunk because they can't get hit. All right, so we can go for broke. So if... Our team is more susceptible to dying here, and then we might have to forfeit the chance for the Kraken. We need the wins. Okay, wins are hard to get, especially in the down economy, and we don't want to be screwing around chasing Kraken. Yeah, you want a Kraken, sure, when you can get it, but try and get the win. Uh, it's going to do more for your sanity in the long run. So we got some Torps on the Kawachi uh, here, who's trying to blast us with the AP. We're j jamming the throttle knob up and down vigorously, you know, having a little bit of a workout, getting that thing going. Now we're trying to dodge his shots. We got torpedoes closing in, and boom! There he goes for the crack, and we got him with the torpedo there. And Chisari, oh my god, can we get the double? Oh, man, if we had AP there and we hit the superstructure, maybe the HE. Yeah, we got five full pens. Not enough damage, though, unfortunately. The weak uh, German HE, not enough to punch him through. But do, do get the six kill there. So that's a look at the Konigsberg Frey, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, hey, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. I do love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you all later. All right, peace.